Michael Jensen? Yes. Alexander Clutterbuck? Um. Of the Clutterbuck clan? My family lived next door in that pink house. Oh, Alex! Alexander! Right. Uh, I didn't recognize you without your helmet. How have you been? Really good, man. I recently came out of a three-month coma after ingesting rat poisons. Oh my god, how did that happen? Well, you see, it's not as difficult as you might think. You see, fruity pebbles and rat poisons share an uncanny resemblance. So when my sleepy head gets out of bed, I can hardly tell the difference. Wow. Yeah. And to make matters worse, that means that little bastard's been tippy-toeing around my apartment enjoying my fruity pebbles for the last three months. They should really put a warning on that kind of stuff so this kind of shit don't happen. They do, Alex. Alexander! Whatever. Can I get you guys started with some drinks? Oh, we're not together. Yeah, yeah. I'm really in the mood for one of those things they have at my place of employment called like a McFlurry. Oh, we don't actually have McFlurries, but I could get you started with a milkshake? Yeah! Yeah, and throw one of those cookies in there. It's got a brown cookie, and it's also got another brown cookie, but in the middle, it's some white stuff, and it's sweeter than the brown cookies, and it makes a really good mix. They also come in birthday cake flavor. You know, they come in a blue packaging. And in the commercial, it's usually an older fella. Usually got a bow tie on, a collared shirt, and he's got a granddaughter sitting to his right with a dress on and a bow tie in her hair, and she dips it in the milk, and they share a glance. And then he turns to her and gives her a wink. Oreos! He wants an Oreo milkshake. Yeah. Oh! An Oreo shake. Of course. No worries. Yeah, whatever my friend wants. I'll have coffee. Perfect. Those will be right out. Um, so, you work at McDonald's? Used to. Apparently my employment was terminated during my coma. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Shit blows. Enough about me. Tell me about you. You must have a lady and a lot of little people running around, spilling Cheerios. You got Not really. I mean, I've got a girlfriend, but... Classic no. Michael. Huh? I mean, I've never really been a ladies' man. I know I'm kind of you serving, but I'm not biting. What? Come on, man, you know my backyard tree fortress was a front row seat to all those crazy high school sex parties you used to throw. Um, whew, wow, that's invasive. Thank God high school was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. Hmm. Best days of my life. Go Spartans! Oh, <laughs> All memories, huh? Yeah, maybe. You know, if I'd been invited to one of those backyard booty calls, things might have been different for me. You know, if it makes you feel any better, I don't even remember those parties, so you really- Oh, don't remember. Let me refresh your memory. Mm -hmm. what, what is this? Oh, just some of my favorite memories from my uh, best time of my life. That's my swimming pool. And there's high school kids skinny dipping and, and underage drinking. Cool. This is weird. Take a gander at the next one, though. This is one of my personal top dog, top notch, best picks I've ever taken. Wow, that's, that's my that's my bedroom. This is this is my Farrah Fawcett poster. Hubba hubba. Did you take this from inside my room? Sure did. That's really disturbing. How about that angle though? Should have been in the yearbook if you ask me. Okay. Politics. Okay. You know what? This is why we didn't invite you to those parties. You were a creep. You're always taking pictures of people who didn't want their picture taken. Ouch. <laughs> and who lives in a pink house? Hey, that pink Dutch colonial was a clutterbuck classic. No, it wasn't. You remember that time you sang Genie in a Bottle at the talent show when you were supposed to come out of that giant vase, but your fat ass got stuck so they had to cover you in butter to get you out, and we all called you Butterfuck until you graduated? That was a classic. <laughs> all right, I've got a coffee and a chocolate shake. Jesus, Alex, calm down. Alexander! 